Hey friends, today I'm going to give you a look inside this beautiful home that is completely themed Animal Kingdom and Safari. I'm so excited. 14 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, all separately themed. Something to do with animals, the Animal Kingdom, safaris. This is amazing. I can't wait to show you. Let's go do this. And as soon as you walk in, you can see the walls just show so much amazingness. And just take a look at this living room. Look at that TV. That is the biggest TV I've ever seen. And then right over here. Oh, it's the tree of life. Amazing, isn't it? I can't get over this place. <laughs> wow and right on the side of the tree of life mural there is a bedroom and it's going to be the first bedroom we're going to show you remember they have 14 of these themed bedrooms and this one is the lion king themed bedroom look at this amazing isn't it the bed holy moly the artwork on the walls this is a beautiful room. This is just so beautiful. Everything blends together perfectly from the dressers to the bed. It just fits with the room and I like that. And plus, even this nice little bed runner right here, that is so themed. There's actually three bedrooms just on the first floor alone. But like I said before, look at all the theming in here, all the walls, all of the decorations it's amazing one of the coolest thing i want to point out though that makes this house kind of stand out is over here this is super awesome i can't wait to show you this because it's amazing how they kept the theming going even with something so amazing as this a safari themed bowling lane what this is in the house amazing isn't it I can't even get over this. Like you can actually stay here and have a safari themed bowling alley to yourself to just play. Even the classic bowling lane rug is actually animals. That's nicely done. I have been in a lot of different houses. This is the first time I've ever seen an animal themed bowling lane now. <laughs> The next room is actually right across the hall from the bowling lane, and it's the cheetah room. Look at this. Amazing. I am loving all of the artwork in these rooms. I've only seen two so far, but I'm pretty impressed already. And like I said, the beds just seem to match it. I don't know how, but it's very cool. And it's not overly cheetah. When I first seen cheetah, I thought everything was going to be cheetah print, but no, it's keeping it classy. I like that. As we continue on the first floor itself, like I said, there's three bedrooms down here, the rest are up top. We're gonna show you another nifty spot and just look at some of the decorations that they actually put in the kitchen area. Before, I wasn't able to really show you this, but take a look at the ceiling with all the birds. It's amazing. And above the TV itself, they put a lot of work into this and the furniture itself looks like it's custom made. That's some nice furniture. But in the kitchen, you can see all these dinosaurs and dragons. If you're not familiar, there was going to be a Beastly Kingdom section of Animal Kingdom and that kind of keeps it in themed here. I like that. To the right of the kitchen, we have a safari themed bedroom. Wow. This artwork is literally on point. This is my favorite thing. Look at these walls. And then of course, like I said, the bed kind of just fits in perfectly. Look at that. That is amazing. I'm seriously in love with every single room so far. We've only seen the three, like I said. You guys gotta let me know in the comments what your favorite themed part of the house is. Is it the bowling lane? Is it the uh, tree of life in the living room? Or is it a specific bedroom? Let me know in the comments because I always like to hear some feedback. On the side of the safari bedroom, there's another door 
and it's not marked but I hear a lot of noise coming from it so I can only guess what it actually could be it is a arcade look at this look at the cool Safari Sega setup this is amazing Wow and check out the flight simulator oh wow amazing in here I remember playing this game a lot when I was a kid at Top Dog and I appreciate how they keep the actual carpet kind of like bowling lane style themed. This is an amazing room right here. And it's actually the garage. So they actually closed off the garage and they actually turned it into an arcade, which is actually really smart. I mean, I mean, if you're not living here and this is just for a rental purposes, I would rather have an arcade than a garage. Now we're actually gonna head upstairs. If you see, I actually put all of my sun <laughs> rises and sunset videos on the big TV because I wanted to see what it looked like. That's lightning over Magic Kingdom. That was a fun video. And even the walls actually on the stairway is still themed. This is really awesome. Do you guys hear the little animals? I am a little shocked here guys. This is a lot to take in, but wow, this is pretty amazing. All of the other bedrooms are up here, so that means we have 11 different rooms to look at up here. I don't even know how this is possible. But first, take a look at the actual movie theater. I like how they added these little lights above it. This is awesome. What an amazing movie theater. And these are actually movie theater seats. That's a nice little touch. I mean, it's not as big as the TV downstairs, but that's a pretty big TV. Sorry if there's a little lens flare going on. There is a lot of black lights up here, and it's really cool because it makes the artwork on the walls really stand out. Like, take a look at this wall right here. That is beautiful. And as you can see over here, we have two bedrooms. All of the bedrooms up here are animal themed. So we have a gorilla room, a lion room, a zebra room. We're gonna go in and look at them all, but this is a lot. There's still 11 bedrooms to get to. Next, we have the zebra room and the giraffe room. I'm excited to see the zebra one. I like zebras. So let's take a peek see in here. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Oh yeah, I think I found my winner. I don't know why. Like it's not overly zebra, it's just really nice. Like you would think you walk in and it'd just be black and white stripes everywhere, but no, they keep it really themed. This is amazing. Look at that, a couple zebras hugging. And I like the bed itself too, because that's like the little bit of zebra theming that they put in here, other than the zebras on the walls. Really nifty. The next room is going to be the giraffe room. Oh, wow. This one is big. This must be like a master bedroom. Look at this. I really like this. I like the bed again. There's like, I would say about six zebras in here and they even keep little baby ones too. There is a lot of choices here. So I'm kind of like really curious on what you guys think here. Here is the gorilla one. I'm excited to see this. This is the first time I'm seeing it here with you guys. Aw, oh, this is cool. And it's got little bunk beds. Custom made bunk beds. I like this. The kids will love it. <laughs> Look at all the gorillas on the walls. This is a really nifty room for the kiddos. Do you climb up to the top from the paws? That's awesome. Each of the rooms have their own TV and their own bathroom. The bathrooms aren't themed as much, and since we have a lot of rooms to cover, I'll probably skip over the bathrooms themselves. Like, they have some animal theming, but I'm more concentrated on the rooms, and like I said, there being so many, we got a lot to get to. On the other side of the gorilla room is the lion room. So we're gonna take a look-see in here. Oh wow, more bunk beds. This is great. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. I can see the kids and everyone fighting. No, I want the lion room. No, I want the gorilla room. 
That's really cool. This is an amazing concept. Look at these lions over here. Wow. Because of those rooms with the bunk beds, means that this house can sleep up to 40 guests. That is amazing. If you had a big meeting or a big family and you wanted to come down and get a villa, this grace is great. The next room is the elephant room. Oh, wow. Wow, this one is really nice. Oh, I don't know. This one actually really competes with the zebra room for me. <laughs> oh, I like it. It's so amazing to see so much variety and animals is just a great way to do it because how many animals are out there? You could just be like elephant room. You know what? I wonder if they have a reptile room, like a, a snake room. That'd be really cool. We're gonna keep moving along and I see they have a hippo room. I like hippos. I'm gonna take a peek see in here. Oh, look at this. That is awesome. I like seeing the rooms like this because this is the first time I'm seeing them. Oh, it's getting a little dark, but it's really nifty. And I like the purple walls because hippos kind of have like a purple tint to them. This is really awesome. Two more rooms on the side of the hippo room. We have the rhino room and then we have the ostrich room. And I love this ostrich room. I love the bed probably the most. Look at this. This is a really cool room. I've never seen a headboard like that before. But it fits perfectly. Look at this ostrich. Kind of just peeking at you. And then the rhino room right here. Oh, look at that big old mean rhino. I don't think rhinos are actually mean. They just look intimidating. This one is nice as well. These are really good themed rooms. I just love the artwork, like I said. That's probably one of the coolest things about them. The artwork is what makes the room stand out the most. And that's what I like about it. The furniture itself is just really nifty crafted furniture. And that's another cool quality inside the rooms. It really does just blow my mind how many rooms are up here. We've already looked at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rooms already just on this floor itself. And we have another hallway to go down. And I like the carpet and lighting that they actually have going through the hallways. Really adds a little touch to it. But this is the hyena room. I wonder if we're going to see Ed in here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh! Hyenas are such awesome animals. I definitely don't think they get their credit due. I loved Ed and Chenze from The Lion King, but look at this. That's amazing. Across the hall, we have the tiger room. Oh, I got some big expectations for this one. Oh yeah. This is nice. It's like a tad classy, don't you think? Look at the headboard, kind of how like it's a tiger. This is really cool. Very well put together. That tiger looks mean and old. And the bathroom I really want to show you on this one because it's kind of like a white Siberian tiger themed. Pretty amazing, isn't it? I believe we have one more room to get to I was a little lost and I walked right past it. It was actually probably gonna be one of the first ones we went to, but like I said, this is a massive home. I am blown away by the sheer size and just space. This one is the wild dog room. Wild dog. <laughs> and I almost missed it. Oh man. This one is really colorful. I love this room actually. Wow, I can't believe I almost missed this one. Honestly, I really like this room. And it's the last one and it's the one I almost missed. I just like the colors. Now, I'm not basing that off of my favorite animal because the wild dog is not my favorite animal, but 
I just like the way this room looks. It's very open and the different colors and it's probably got the most animals on the walls actually because wild dogs run in packs. So it makes sense. So that's gonna do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. This house is pretty amazing. I really love the fact that it just goes into so much detail with the animals and the tree of life. That's a beautiful touch. Anywho's, I'm gonna put all of the information in the description below on how you can actually rent this place out if you're planning on coming over, if you just wanna spend a night or two because it's well worth it and it sleeps up to 40 people. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. I seriously can't get over that TV. I can't believe I'm watching me on this TV. That's amazing.